Hello friends, press the subscribe button and the bell icon for more such easy videos of biology. Friends, today we are going to focus on one of the most important topic of photosynthesis that is called as photorespiration. First, we need to understand the meaning of the word. Photo means light. Respiration simply means a process of taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide. So when plants during daytime take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide, it is called photorespiration. Rubisco, ribulose bisphosphate carboxylase, one of the most important enzyme of Kelvin cycle. It is a thermolabile enzyme. Now when we talk about thermolabile enzyme, it means it changes its nature with respect to change in temperature. Now when we say thermolabile, so we need to understand that the Rubisco sometime under high temperature will have different nature to work and under low temperature will have different nature to work. So let's understand the conditions. There will be two conditions. In first condition we say that the temperature is less like in the morning time and the carbon dioxide concentration is more. Why? Because tomato is open. So under this condition the Rubisco is going to work as carboxylase. Now when I say carboxylase it simply means that the Rubisco will fix carbon dioxide. If you remember Kelvin cycle where RuBP combined with carbon dioxide in the presence of Rubisco. So taking in carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen it's photosynthesis. But during afternoon the temperature is very much high and the carbon dioxide concentration becomes less. Why it becomes less? Because the stomata closes partially due to high temperature. Now Rubisco here will work as oxygenase. Now since Rubisco is working as oxygenase, it simply means that it will take oxygen and it will give out carbon dioxide. So when carbon dioxide concentration is less and temperature is high, Rubisco works as oxygenase. It means taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide. So this process is called as respiration. When this respiration takes place during daytime, it is called as photorespiration. So I hope you understood exactly what photorespiration is all about. Now we need to understand out of 100% carbon dioxide lost during photorespiration, 75% carbon dioxide will be conserved. It will means it will be saved, but only 25% carbon dioxide is lost. So very much important to understand. The photorespiration takes place in three cell organelles. Number one, chloroplast. Number two, peroxisome. And number three is mitochondria. So these are the three cell organelles involved in photorespiration. Let's understand the cycle. So first what we need to do? We need to draw a double line. Now this has to be a double membrane structure because we are drawing the structure of chloroplast and we all know that chloroplast is a double membrane structure. Second cell organelle we draw is peroxisome. Now we need to draw it in a single membrane because peroxisome is a single membrane structure. Now third cell organelle that we are going to draw will be mitochondria. While drawing the mitochondria we need to be very much careful. It is double membranous and it is going to show the inner folds that we call it as criste. So these are the three cell organelles that we need to show. Now what exactly happens? Temperature is high. Carbon dioxide concentration is low. Why? Because tomato is partially closed. So now Rubisco will work as oxygenase. It will take in oxygen. So RuBP that is ribulose biphosphate 5 carbon compound will combine with oxygen and it splits up as PGA and phosphoglycolate. Remember the word phosphoglycolate. Now PGA will be 3 carbon compound and phosphoglycolate is 2 carbon compound. From phosphoglycolate, keep this word in mind, phosphoglycolate, 
phosphate is lost so what is left glycolate which is two carbon glycolate by diffusion will come in the peroxisome so glycolate now remember co remove the word co and add oxy so we say glycolate gets converted into glyoxylate co removed and oxy is added and which combines with hydrogen peroxide h2o2 to form glycine glycine is one of the amino acid this glycine by diffusion will enter in the mitochondria one glycine molecule has come and second molecule will also come so there are two molecules of glycine now which is total of four carbon so out of this one carbon dioxide is lost and serine is formed which is of three carbon so we so 75 three is conserved that is 75 percent and 25 percent is lost Dif serine by diffusion will now enter in the peroxisome serine gets converted into glyceric acid and this glyceric acid by diffusion will enter in the chloroplast so glyceric acid undergoes a phosphorylation and it forms a structure that is called as phosphoglyceric acid that is pga so we have two pga now one pga was formed from rubp and this is the second pga so what is going to happen here both the pga is will now enter in Kelvin cycle the C3 cycle most important cycle for photosynthesis so both the PGA will enter and it will go Kelvin cycle to make glucose now certain questions very much important from need point of view we need to understand they ask in exam during photo respiration how many oxygen is used so we need to understand that two molecules of oxygen is used one molecule is used at the starting by RUBP and one by glyoxylate. Now carbon dioxide lost is only one out of four that is 25 percent and carbon conserved is three that is 75 percent. Hope you have understood the concept. Friends do give a like if you found this topic to be easy. Thank you very much.